Democracy Happens. I'm Carson Westgard reporting here with Daniel Horowitz and Caleb Flood and Guy Nelson. Today's topic, topic is outside the box. Is that so outside the box? <laughs> <laughs> Today we're, we're reporting on students learning about democracy. We have the bring toward grade 6 elementary school students to help us. Now let's go to TTR for the Grant Wood School. Thank you, Carson. I'm here at Brentwood Elementary School with four grade six students to demonstrate how they are showing their learning with, about the grade six curriculum. Graydon, tell me about your creation you've made. These are what we have been calling our two-page spreads. We use them in our classroom to represent our learning about democracy. We got this idea from the ology book Aiden is holding here. Aiden, did you enjoy the process of making these activities? Yes, we had fun showing our knowledge in an interactive ways. Um, Felicia, um, did you learn what did you learn during this process? We learned about different types of governments, voting, different histories of democracy, and how important democracy is to our societies. Wow. Um, could you possibly show me some of the interactive pieces on your work? That's a, oh. This is this is a map of where we live. This is a um, timeline that can roll out. And it shows when everything was. These are these the four, four pillars: justice, representation, freedom, and equity. Wow, amazing! Emma, could, what topics did you learn about? We learned about we learned about the ways that Canadian Iroquois Confederacy and ancient Athens ran their democracy. Wow. Well, thank you for your time and showing me your amazing work. Now back to Daniel in the DTV News Station. Thank you for that extraordinary information, Kiara. Yeah, those two page spreads are fantastic. Now I know more about democracy. Now to the weather with... Wait, wait a second. Breaking news, there are angry protesters outside the city hall demanding their rights. Apparently they're at the Charter of Rights and Freedom. <laughs> <laughs> Our other reporter, Jacob Galandi, is there interviewing two local protesters right now. Over to you, Jacob. Hi, I'm here at the City Hall to ask these protesters some questions about this mob. Protesters are going well because they believe our democracy is fading. Here we are with two obnoxious protesters. Here's what they have to say about this controversial mob. Our freedoms are dying along with this democracy because the council is taking away our rights and freedoms to live freely in this beloved country. If this keeps up, democracy will fall and oligarchy will prevail. If oligarchy keeps up, our land will turn to chaos. I learned in grade 6 about the right to be able to protest. I have been on the Alberta legislative one week democracy trip in grade 6, so I am educated to know we're not having our fundamental rights to... I'm surprised we're able to do this protest without getting arrested. Sorry I didn't know about the rights of protesting. So maybe I should come sometime. That's what protesters Owen and Emma have to say about this nagging crowd. Back to you, Kate. Thank you, Jacob, for that great news report. We hope the city hall will take that in class. And remember, kids, democracy is part of our life. And it makes government even more important to Good night, Strathmore! Thank you for watching Democracy TV News! Tune in next time for Ancient Athens.